everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Amber and I have the world's easiest project to share with you today. So I made some cute little mini albums using one sheet of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper. I'm going to do a tutorial here. It's super quick and easy, but let me flip through and show you what we're going to be making. I'm going to do a quick flip through. I'm not going to do a lot of explaining because we're going to be making this together here on the video and you're going to see it in detail then. Before I get started on this simple tutorial, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Uh, if you watch my videos before, you know that I do partner with Skillshare um, every now and then, and I just love Skillshare. It's just that simple. They're an online learning community with thousands upon thousands of workshops and classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Um, Skillshare has taught me so much. I just really recommend that you go over and check it out. The premium membership gives you an unlimited access um, to all their workshops and classes. And whether you want a place to brush up on your skills, learn something new, or just fuel your curiosity, Skillshare is that place to go to keep you learning and thriving. I am showcasing this class that I just took it is so inspirational. I was having a little bit of kind of motive, low motivation um, and low creativity lately, um, and I've just kind of taken a little break, but this class has really helped me because it's what I needed to unlock my creativity again and just kind of reset and get back to things I love to do like crafting, and it helps you with all these topics. So. That's kind of what today's video is about. I was doing some more complicated tutorials and longer ones and I just wanted to kind of step back. So just by watching today's video, um, the first 1,000 people to click the link below in my description box will get two free months of Skillshare Premium. And remember, that gives you access to all of the workshops and classes. So check out Skillshare, make sure that you Click that link below and start learning with them today. So I bound it here with some really cute jute twine. I just used this pretty mustard paper by October afternoon. And let's do a quick flip through. I just did a simple embellishment on the front. So this has six pages, so 12 front and back. And I've already decorated it and embellished it with just some bits and pieces that I had in my stash. Super, super cute. I love how it turned out. And I'm telling you, this is so fun. You can use just one piece of 12 by 12 scrapbook paper to make this. And if you wanna make like a bunch of these, it's it goes, like I said, super fast. You can make a bunch of these in one night. You can use up an entire paper pad, make one of these albums per sheet of paper and just get out some scraps and some stickers and decorate it. But that's what it looks like. So cute. And I'm gonna show you how to make it. So I'm gonna do a really quick flip through of the other three that I made. They're bare, I didn't decorate them or anything. And then we'll get started on the tutorial. These take like five minutes, they're so fast. Now you can take a 12 by 12 scrapbook pad and kill it by making one of these albums per page. So if you wanna you know, give them out in, like send them like in an envelope out to your friends or you can sell them at your craft fair. You can give them as freebies at your craft fair. You can bundle three of them like this and sell them at your craft fair. It's up to you. But let me show you the ones that I've made so far. All the paper I used here is from October afternoon and I just hoard <laughs> the papers I have left from October afternoon. So these are all, I believe, different collections and I just like to mix and match because they're all super cute and retro. This first one here looks like vintage wallpaper. I love it, it's so cute. And I just added an October afternoon sticker and some jute twine. So like I said, these are the simplest. They're just paper. I didn't do any embellishing. And you just get a bunch of pages to add photos. You don't do any gluing or anything. The only glue I used was to add my sticker on the front. Let's get 
started on the super simple tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting out with my 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper. This is double sided. This is from the Farm Girl Collection by October Afternoon. So it's super cute and retro and double sided. So the first thing you need to do, if you have a branding strip, just make sure you cut that off. So I'm gonna make sure this is a true 12 inches. So you're just gonna take your paper and the bottom is down here, top is up here. It doesn't matter on mine because the print can go anyway. But if you are using a pattern that needs to go a certain way, bottom here, top here. So you're just gonna cut this into three strips of four inches. So here we go, this is four inches, again. And then this should perfectly measure four inches left. And it does. So now we've got three strips here that measure four by 12. And we're gonna do some scoring now. So you're gonna score all three of these the same way. Put it in here, obviously on the 12 inch side, you're gonna score at five and a half, six, and six and a half. So let's do it again. Score at five and a half, six, and six and a half. And then of course, do your last one. You've got these three sheets here. And what you want to do is fold on all your score lines. You need to decide what side you want to be your cover. And by that, I mean just, you know, the cover of the album. So I want the mustard yellow side to be my cover. So you want to take that page and just fold it in half like this on that six inch score line. And then fold back on this score line. And fold on that score line. Remember, we have three score lines. Okay, so now this is the one I want to be my cover. So the peak is pointing up. Here's the peak of that score line. Okay, so I'm gonna do another one just like this. So I'm gonna fold it in half at six, fold this back, and fold that back. Okay, so we've got another one with the mustard yellow up with the peak pointing up. And then this one, we're gonna take the opposite way, fold it on our six inch score line. Go back this way, like that, and like that. So this way, the other pattern, the peak of the paper is up. So now we've got three pages here, and all you do, it's super easy. You just take this, see where there's the little valley here? and you set it on top of this one. So you set the valley portion on top of the peak right here, and it kind of pinches together. And then you take those two and stack them on this last one, just like this. So here's all, here's how we have it. So they're all inside each other in that little hinge right there. And you're just going to close it up like this. So now you have like this little binding piece over here and you just wanna work it back and forth a little bit um, to really crease it down so your pages will fold really well. So I just like to kind of bend them back, crease down with my bone folder, and then here it is here. You just close it up. So these, um, this side is a little bit uneven because obviously if you stick these pages inside each other, it's going to be a little bit uneven over here, but we're going to fix that in just a minute. But first, the next thing we're going to do is just take any hole punch you have. I'm going to use this one. And, okay, so I'm going to put it this way so I can see it. I'm working with the spine here. It's on the right. And I'm just going to take this as far as it'll go here and just center it between this edge and my score line. And these you can totally eyeball, you do not have to measure. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. I'm gonna put it all the way up as far as it can go. Center this between the score line and the edge. And punch. And then I like to do one in the middle and you can totally just eyeball this. So I think that looks about straight and in the middle. And punch. So now we've got three holes here on our binding. So I believe I got this one at Dollar Tree. 
And so this is how I string it through. So here's our three holes right here. I'm gonna take each end of my twine and stick one end in each of the two end holes. And that hole here. So this is still the front of your album. Just flip it over and make sure everything's good to go back here. So this is now the back. Take both of your strings and both the ends and I like to cut this at an angle a little bit so it's a little bit skinnier because both of these are gonna go through that middle hole. Okay, so you stuck them through this middle hole, pull it through, and now you're back to the front of your album again. So just make sure that each string that you just pulled through goes on either side of this um, jute that you already bound. Okay, then you're just gonna tie this into a knot and then a bow. Super easy binding. So look at our album, it's like pretty much done. It's so cute. One more thing we're gonna do before. I put it into my trimmer and go to the quarter inch line right here. And I'm just gonna cut off a quarter inch. So you might have to move your blade up and down several times to get through all six pages, but it usually works out pretty well. See, now there's a nice, clean, even edge. So here's the pages. Super easy and simple, right? But there's several pages here for you to decorate and add pictures to. I have and this sticker sheet and I'm just gonna simply embellish the front. So, but I'm gonna find a scrap of paper to border around this. Okay, so now I want to decorate my cute little album up just a little bit. And what you see here are some really adorable, I think they're two by three little size pictures. So these pages can definitely fit bigger pictures. They measure about four by five. So you can fit a four by five or like a four by four picture in here from Instagram. But I have all these cute little photos that I just printed out and I just use my Polaroid zip so I absolutely love my Polaroid zip and the little picture comes out of here. It actually just runs off your Bluetooth on your phone. So any pictures you have on your phone, you can just hit the app on your phone and pick your picture and it prints right out. And the cool thing about the paper too is it's adhesive. It'll stick right down to your paper. So I'm just gonna play with this, decorate this up and I'll um, kind of set it to music. So I hope you sit back, relax and enjoy. All done with the cute album and I know I already showed you in the beginning of the video but I'll do another quick little flip through to show you how I decorated so it. So the cover again is just super simple. You can round the corners. I decided not to for some reason but it is optional. 
So this was just a fun weekend we had with the kids and I was really able to document it in such a simple way, but so cute and I can treasure this for a long time. Um, I haven't done my journaling obviously, but I can journal here, put like the date or something. This was perfect, a little sticker that says picnic in the park. We had McDonald's Happy Meals at the park before we played basketball and did all kinds of fun stuff. Just layered like a scrap of paper behind there. What a day for a daydream. It's one of those days for taking a walk outside. And I really love this because um, my husband was playing basketball with the kids and my littlest nephew, Bryson, he came over and was sitting with me. He loves to come back and forth to the table and take bites of his food and then run back out and play. And I was just kind of sitting there and I was looking at like the tree blowing in the wind. I don't know what I was doing, but he goes, Auntie Amber, are you daydreaming? <laughs> And I just like thought that was so cute that he thought that so and he was absolutely right I was Anyway, so that was that page and here's this cute little layout page So there was this like beach chair at the park That's just like part of the park, I guess and so I had them pose for a little picture and this says happiness I can journal there and I can um, even add some like lines with a white piece of paper there and journal and I just added a sticker so this page is super cute. I just added a cute little die cut that says singing in a tree. It has like the green grass and the mountains in the background. And this is summer favorites and I can go ahead and journal there. So I just clipped this in with a paper clip. This I can journal. I had them take this cute picture um, on the basketball court and at the angle of this picture, you can kind of guess what I had to do to get this shot. I was laying down on the court to get that shot. I thought it was so cute though. Just added some stickers. And then this page, I added some more of these cute die cut um, journal cards from the October afternoon. And I just glued down a journaling spot here and a date. And here I had this cute retro kind of flash card. And then we went to my mother-in-law's house and she lives like two blocks from the park we went to. So we went to her house and we have our um, ping pong table stored in her garage. So we played a lot of ping pong. The boys had so much fun. And there's this photo taken by sticker. I love that. So I'm going to write in Auntie Amber. And then I just love this picture because at that same park, my parents live um, in the housing right behind it and it's so beautiful with the mountains and all the desert landscape Well right behind it is my parents house So I told Bryson to yell real loud grandma grandpa <laughs> Even though you know they're too far for to hear him, but he got tough and he yelled as loud as he could It was so cute. I just um, added some cute little retro flashcards a sticker and a journaling spot and then this was really fun. We went back to our house, which is not, again, we live so close to all of our family. So our house is about a mile from the park. And so we got back there, got cleaned up, and the kids were just waiting, waiting, waiting to play PlayStation with my husband, with their uncle. So he got them all set up. They're playing PlayStation. And I actually invited my mom over to have coffee with me while the boys were playing video games. And my mom and I, like did some crafty things and had coffee. So I wanted to document that as well, her at my kitchen table. And I thought this journaling card was so cute and it was from one of the October afternoon collections and then a cute journal sticker. And there's the back. So with one piece of 12 by 12 paper and then just bits and pieces from your stash, along with cute little photos, you can really make such a cute album. I made this in no time at all and I absolutely loved it. I know that this was like the most simple project you can ever imagine, but I like to do these short little simple projects every now and then to give ourselves a break from um, the big intense projects. I think these are so fun to give as freebies or little gifts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this simple little project and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.